In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Today is the last day of the Church's year, and so as we celebrate this Mass in honour of Our Lady on Saturday, we offer to her our joys and sorrows of the past year. I am offering Mass for the repose of all the holy souls of purgatory. My brothers and sisters, let us call to mind our sins and prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contract of heart, Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Grant us, O merciful God, protection in our weakness, that we who keep the memorial of the Holy Mother of God may, with the help of her intercession, rise up from our iniquities. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. A reading from the Book of the Apocalypse. The angel showed me John, the river of life, rising from the throne of God and the Lamb and flowing crystal clear down the middle of the city street. On either side of the river were the trees of life which bear twelve crops of fruit in a year, one in each month, and the leaves of which are the cure for the pagans. The ban will be lifted, the throne of God and of the Lamb will be in its place in the city. His servants will worship him, they will see him face to face, and his name will be written on their foreheads. It will never be night again, and there will not be lamplight or sunlight, because the Lord God will be shining on them. They will reign for ever and ever. The angel said to me, All that you have written is sure and will come true. The Lord God, who gives the Spirit to the prophets, has sent his angel to reveal to his servants what is soon to take place. Very soon now, I shall be with you again. Happy are those who treasure the prophetic message of this book. The Word of the Lord. Maranatha, come, Lord Jesus. Come, ring out our joy to the Lord. Hail the rock who saves us. Let us come before him giving thanks. With songs, let us hail the Lord. A mighty God is the Lord, a great King above all gods. In his hand are the depths of the earth, the heights of the mountains are his. To him belongs the sea, for he made it, and the dry land shaped by his hand. Come in, let us bow and bend low. Let us kneel before the God who made us, for he is our God, and we the people who belong to his pasture, the flock that is led by his hand. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Stay awake and stand ready, because you do not know the hour when the Son of Man is coming. Alleluia. reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to his disciples, Watch yourselves, or your hearts will be coarsened with debauchery and drunkenness and the cares of life, and that day will be sprung on you suddenly like a trap, for it will come down on every living man on the face of the earth. Stay awake, praying at all times for the strength to survive all that is going to happen, and to stand with confidence before the Son of Man. The Gospel of the Lord.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that this, my sacrifice and yours, may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. As we honour the memory of the Mother of your Son, we pray, O Lord, that the oblation of this sacrifice made by your grace may give us an eternal offering to you, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints, and especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even to earth's ends, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you looked on the loneliness of your handmaid, you gave us through her, the author of our salvation, your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and a drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray, 
that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Alan our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours for ever and ever. At the Saviour's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your Apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins but on the faith of your Church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign for ever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us make an act of spiritual communion together. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Having been made partakers of eternal redemption, we pray, O Lord, that we who commemorate the Mother of your Son may glory in the fullness of your grace and experience its continued increase for our salvation through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go and announce the Gospel of the Lord. 